Hey guys, welcome to Writing for Thursday. This is going to be a fun one because if you're ready, we're going to be publishing our ballads and we're going to get pretty creative with it as well. Before I begin, actually no, I'll touch on that once we get started. Let's get into our APK. We're going to have a look at this little YouTube clip. Um, it doesn't matter if you can't see it all that well because it's about listening APK. It's about listening and noticing. So what we're going to do is I want you to write down some of the features that the author of this video has included um, in the presentation of it. So it's not just a book. Think about what other things they've added into the video to make it entertaining and also to make it purposeful to what the story is about. Let's start watching. Oh, hang on. Apologies. There we go. I'm going to stop it there. So the, per, the author of this has added some things. Also, the text as well is a feature too. So have a think about everything that you notice here that they've included to make this as entertaining as possible. Hit pause if you need to because I'm going to move on because I don't want this video to go forever. All right. Um, our lesson, we are going to be using... Um, Sorry again. We're going to be using clips to publish our writing again, like we did in term one with our persuasions. But I want you to take it a little bit further. So we did a few things in clips. We made sure we were reading clearly. We're going to be doing that again, but we're going to add something else with that. We made sure we were including purposeful images that went with each uh, paragraph of our Persuasive, we're going to do that again with our ballad. We're going to try and get even more pictures and I'm going to talk to you in a minute about it, trying to get a picture for each line or every couple of lines. So you might have two pictures per stanza. We've got three stanzas, so that's six pictures, plus our refrain twice. So you might have eight or more pictures or clips um, that go with each. So what I've done is I've done a bit of a screen share of me starting a clip. Um, and then I'll show you my completed one. Um, it's not a whole ballad or song. It's just a part to get you started. You're going to do it for your whole thing, but it's just got some of the key things. Now, what I show you is what I want you to include, but I also want you to take it further. You have time. You can play around at home. You can work out what extra things you can add in there, what extra features that I'm not sure of or I don't have time to show you that you can add to make it even better making sure it's purposeful. All right. Okay, so here is my screen share and it's beginning to play and I'm just going to talk over the top of what's happening. So um, as it moves along, moves along, moves along, I'm going to swipe across in a moment. And I'm going to open up clips, which is just on the left there. Um, and it opens up with the front facing camera. That's just me checking that the screen recording is working. So then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm doing Happy by Pharrell Williams is my ballad that I wrote. I didn't actually write it, as you know. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm making kind of like a front cover. So I chose a picture that was Happy by Pharrell, and I'll just squeeze, zoom through it. And I 
chose that, I put it up. So I prepped all my pictures beforehand and then I just put a title on it. Then I pressed the big red button. Um, so as you'll see in a moment, the title will pop up. It says, yeah. And then I press that big red button and I'm reading out what the um, ballad that I'm about to read out is. Now I'm gonna play this finished product for you in a minute so it'll all make sense once you actually watch what's happening. Then I opened it up again, didn't open it up again. I've done this in two parts, so you'll continue. Then the first line is, well, this is for the line about sunshine. So the first line is about sunshine. So I picked a picture of sunshine and then I've chosen the feature live titles. So what that does is as you read your ballad out, it's going to dictate, so it picks up what you're saying, speak while recording to add text. Um, so it's going to actually have the words come up on the screen. I think it's going to be a really cool feature for your ballad, particularly if you've, as you can see here, I'm reading it out and the words come up. Sunshine, she's here, can't take a break. So then again, I do that while I'm holding down the red button. Um, then I chose my next image, read the next section, chose my next image, read the next section. I did it in bits. You can play around with it and do it how you want. But the main thing I want, to, want you to see from this is picking images or clips in the background that match. So I'll pause that now. And doing the live titles for dictation. So let's have a quick little brainstorm. I don't want that anymore. Let's have a quick little brainstorm. What other features could we include in our, in our, so we've got images, we've got, I'm gonna make this a bit bigger actually, bigger text. We've got images, we've got live titles, which is um, what I just showed you. We've got fluent reading. Some things that you might've noticed in fire before. There was music, there was sound effects. Um, you might have other writing somewhere. And there's many more things. Like I said, if you guys can get creative, it's your publishing, your presentation, it's how you do it. The key thing with all of these, we're trying to create a mood. When we write a ballad or a poem, we want our reader to feel the emotion, the pictures, the sound, the way you read is going to create that mood. All right. Um, so let's have a look at your activity today. What you're going to do is number one, use clips to publish your ballad. Now you need to have the tick of approval from your teacher that you're ready to publish. So I know that I've gone through and decided who has edited and revised, has the three stanzas, has figurative language in their writing and has refrains, they're ready to publish. If you haven't got the tick yet, you need to make sure that yours is ready before you publish. So you're gonna read the ballad aloud and include written words as well. So that's what I just showed you with the the live titles, the dictation your iPad does. Three, you can add any other features that support your poem. Remember, like I just said, remember that it's gonna help further set the mood that you're after. And then number four, once you've completed it, you're gonna upload that to Seesaw. Um, you're at home, you've got a bit of time, you don't have time restraints like in class where we'd say you've got an hour to do this. Take your time with it, have some fun, explore clips, see what things you can add in there. I'm really excited to see what kinds of things people are putting in there. Once you have done all that, your reflection is going to be, what is your favorite feature that you've included in your published piece? My favorite feature is the live titles. I thought that's really cool for balance. So I wanna know what you guys have added to make yours even better than mine. All right, if you want to go and get started, you can. I said I would show you my finished version 
of what I was working on, showing you before. Now, when I was saying that, when I was saying that the way you read aloud is going to set the mood, this is definitely something that I would go back and revise because I'm not very happy with my read aloud of it. It's not setting the mood I'm after. So sit back, relax. If you don't want to watch it, go back and start the activity. If you do want to watch what I've done, it's only 20 seconds. Let's might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Sunshine, she's here. You can take a break. I'm a hot air balloon that could go to space with the air. Like, I don't care, baby, by the way. Yeah, because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. So there's mine. Not the best. Yours are going to be way better than that. Have fun with this. It's going to be a fun one.